Hello everyone, uh, let's get started. We're gonna talk about shopping. Now, I do not like shopping, but I know many people do. So let's look at the top five mistakes that intermediate students make with shopping. All right, the first mistake is when they use the word pay. So many of my students said, yes, I paid the coffee or I paid dinner. This doesn't make any sense because you pay for an item. So if you pay the coffee, you are giving money to the coffee. But you didn't give money to the coffee. That's crazy. So we want to say you paid for the coffee. I paid for dinner. So you pay for an item, but you pay the person. So I paid the cashier for the coffee. This is 95% true. However, there are some exceptions there are some situations you don't need to use for, and here they are. So you can pay a fine, you can pay a bill, you can pay tuition, you can pay a parking ticket, and you can pay rent. Those are the exceptions. But if I buy this cup, I paid for the cup. I didn't pay the cup. I am not giving the cup money. That's mistake number one. Mistake number two is the word refund. Uh, let's look at this woman. So she goes to the store. She's really excited. She just bought a new sweater. She paid for a new sweater. But then she comes home. Ah, oh, damn it. There's a hole. There's a hole in this sweater. So she's a little upset. So she says, I'm going to go to the store to refund my sweater. Mistake. She is not refunding the sweater. The store can refund money. So if you use it as a verb, the store refunds money. But a customer does not refund a product. A store refunds money for the product. If this person wanted to say naturally what she was doing, we could say, I'm going to the store to return my sweater and get a refund. So here refund is a noun and a customer can get a refund. Or she went to the store for a refund. Refund is a noun here. So I'm going, why? For a refund. She also might say, I hope the store refunds my money for the sweater. But don't say, I'm going to refund my sweater. It doesn't make any sense. All right. So the next part or the next uh, mistake is the word discount. This is very similar to refund. So um, if you say to the store, could I discount the item? This doesn't make sense. The customer does not discount the item. The store can discount the price. The store discounts the price, okay? Or you could say um, the customer wants a discount. That is a noun. So a customer can get a discount. That's a noun. The store can give a discount. That's a noun. Or the store can discount the price. But a customer cannot say, can I discount the price? Because they don't own the store. All right, the next common mistake. Um, when we're talking about uh, a place that sells sweaters, t-shirts, jeans, speedos, it doesn't matter. But one mistake I hear is people call it a clothes store. It is a clothing store. Uh, for whatever reason, we don't say clothes store. Okay, so it is a clothing store. You could call it a department store too, if it's big. Um, the final common mistake is gonna be pronunciation. Two words that students often pronounce wrong. So let's put this up. A lot of students pronounce this receipt. You don't need the P, it is just receipt. Could I get a receipt? I have a receipt. The P is silent, so just get rid of it. And the last pronunciation mistake is this word. A lot of students say clothes. Don't worry about it being two syllables. 
Say it the exact same way as clothes. I close a door. I wear clothes. Uh, I am wearing clothes. That's a good thing, right? So remember, receipt, not receipt. That's incorrect pronunciation. And I wear clothes, not clothes. All right, so this was part one. This was sort of the intermediate, upper beginner level of common mistakes. Next lesson, we're going to look at more difficult mistakes. All right, everyone, please uh, like this channel, subscribe, share with your friends, with your family, your enemies. I don't care. Have a great day. Bye.